all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and seeing as though kitty is the fan favorite from this update for many of us since we've been waiting on her ever since mutant first touched down in this game a few years ago i decided i wanted to work on her first get her looking decent and showcase her in a little bit of gameplay for you guys because even though i think she's currently not where we need her to be there's still many of us that are going to spend the cash and get her built up just had a sheer love for the character as soon as the update goes live keep in mind though everything you see in this video right is subject to change because i am using the test build that was provided to me as a part of the star agent program and in the time that i've been playing on this server right there's been at least two patches that i'm aware of okay so keep that in mind can't tell you guys what they're patching i don't even know for sure what they are patching but it is really really nice to see that they're actually actively working this close to the update so it makes it feel as though what i'm doing what i'm saying is actually like meaningful information right and i hope that all of the other star agents are doing their part as well anyways let's get it moving man so i actually have her built up pretty nice i'll show you guys what the build details looking like like i said pretty nice considering this is not my own account right we got some attack speed on her crit rate is kind of low but that is fine we got crit damage looking decent ignore defense almost maxed out and then we got cooldown almost maxed out as well for me ignore defense and cooldown two of the biggest things when i'm building characters so i actually prioritize those got a couple who's on her didn't gamble for any odin's blessings just yet because i didn't want to invest like a hundred percent of my resources that were given to me not mine but the resources that were given to me into one character instead i'm going to try to split it between all of the characters and try to get them to about 70 80 percent of what i can get them to okay so keep that in mind skills came at six didn't have to do anything to that and we do have power of angry hulk which i personally think is the best attack iso set for her right gives her some attack speed and definitely give you some more hp and if you want to you can go ahead and give her some dodge if you see fit so keep that in mind it will synergize with her tier 2 passive giving her a little bit more dodge is definitely a good idea because she takes a beating when she does get hit she takes a lot of damage and as a speed type with not that high hp and no native healing she really she really falls to pieces rather quickly okay so keep that in mind for the custom gear you always know guys for me i built around a custom gear i chose to go with a cdp of energy simply because both her five and her four skill right they have a lot of hits they both have a lot of hits so to synergize with that i think the chain hit is best for her and since she's a speed type natively you want to give her ignore dodge just so you can use her against corvus but that guy is nasty with the bleed damage and because of the summon that she has that's constantly out she gets interrupted a lot her skills get cancelled quite a lot and that is one thing i'm going to keep bringing up that marble please please look at this okay please consider making the summon untargetable because my skills get cancelled quite a bit in addition to that when they don't get cancelled because Lockheed is still attacking and he's still targetable the bosses just keep trying to attack him and even if my skill still managed to play out sometimes i'll end up right in the direct line of an incoming attack that was meant for lockheed and up against corvus that's generally some bleed damage and that is bad business because you get hit with some bleed damage with her no native healing she's falling to pieces rather quickly so yeah netmarble please please consider making the summon untargetable or put it on one of her skills that way i can avoid using that skill altogether because yeah the summon is a really really big liability anyways let's move on boys let's jump into a little bit of our world boss gameplay so y'all can see how she does we're gonna go up against corvus and proxima just to give you guys a little bit of variety so right here we're gonna do stage 30 the highest i believe that is unlocked on this account is 40 but i want to use her without any major strikers and for the most part i just want to use her by herself so we're gonna go with her own leadership right then we're gonna go with ancient one because ancient one's tier two passive i'll show it to you guys really quickly you can see for yourself offers 25 percent ignore dodge that's gonna synergize with the 30 four that we have right here and we need a hundred percent but we're not going to go for a hundred percent okay we want to use her leadership to increase her attack and her crit rate that way because the crit rate is rather low i do have some oos on her but i did um want to save my crystals to uh get some odin's blessings later on but yeah 
anyways, we're going to go ahead and pick up, um, what's his name here? Ronin, because he also offers, I believe, 20%. Let me show it to you guys real quick. He offers 20% ignore dodge. And that's going to bring us close to uh, 85%, which is, which is good, right? That's pretty good, right? Now, we are going to need to use anti-venom i really wanted to use her without any strikers but anti-venom is essential simply because there's no way i can play her without taking any damage at all simply because lockheed is just constantly out and constantly being targeted now the skill rotation that they provided in the live stream i am definitely not going to be using that it's up to you if you guys want to use it it's five three four but i'm going to use three five and then four the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to get the true damage accumulation active. That way I can get as much damage as possible on her fifth skill, right? Because that's her highest damaging skill. Now you can see for yourself, we got a good proc early on that gave us a good amount of damage. We managed, ooh, we managed to not get hit at all. And that's good business, but Corvus is still being extremely aggressive. Okay, I'm really trying to focus here. Now, if one of my skills get canceled, I try to sneak in the two and then cancel into the one. Then use, woo, see, like, oof. Ah, that is bad business. No, please. Oh, no. Oof. Okay, that was really, really bad. We got the heal. So you can see for yourself, her damage is good, but she's risky, man. She's risky business because you're literally just at the mercy of um, Lockheed, right? Like, I really look forward to him dying. And that's sad. I, he's so cute and adorable, but like, for real. Like, I look forward to him dying just because I know him being out. Like, that attack, I was so lucky there. Super lucky. Like, right there, my skill got canceled out. And let me just put Ronin out so he can absorb the bulk of that because he's pretty pretty tanky right like i was actually super lucky there that i didn't get hit by that paralysis Whew. okay Whew. damn okay lucky just died yeah there we go the wind up on the three skill is pretty bad too i can't lie to you guys it's pretty bad i don't know why it's there she should have like a guard up or something I guess you can't get everything, but like, yeah, it, it, the wind up on the three at the beginning where she's completely open, that's pretty bad. Okay, so we're going to use that three again. Then, oh, ooh, there we go. That's, oof, that's, that's a decent amount of damage. Like, she has the damage, but, ooh, ancient one, please don't die. Please don't, <laughs> please don't die. I need you. I need you. I need you. I'm going to pop that heal. That way, kitty can come out and get two heals going at the same time really what hit me something hit me and i got paralyzed so you can see for, ooh. oh boy 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 <laughs> it's risky with her i'm not trying to say she's weak or nothing like that but her survivability you're literally at the mercy of um lockheed like, I guess the good part is he dies very, very quickly. So unlike with Nightcrawler, right, where he constantly always has a summon out for Kid, woo, woo, for Kitty, Lockheed dies pretty easily. So yeah, sometimes you'll get off a couple of attacks before he actually interrupts you. So you can see for yourself, she did pretty good there. Keep in mind though, guys, I know some of you guys are gonna say that's not impressive, but keep in mind my raid level is only 267. You're used to watching me play with a raid level of 499 with my own cards on a device that I'm very, very comfortable playing on. So just keep that in mind. She's definitely better than I'm showcasing her right now. But honestly, I wouldn't say she's a must buy just yet. That summon thing just really irks me. You guys may see this run and you may think, okay, she's not as bad as you're making her seem. Trust me, trust me when I say you're probably right, but she's definitely not as good as she could be if the summon wasn't getting her constantly interrupted, okay? Usually you want to use Fury for the lead, but 
it's a rare occasion when you get to use another character's lead instead of Fury. But Fury's support passive is pretty good. And the great thing about Kitty is she actually has guaranteed um, crit. You can see for yourself, 30% guaranteed crit, which is actually better than Phil Coulson's. Oop, let me actually... Uh, I really got to adjust the plane on this device. Anyways, it's better than Phil Coulson, so you don't have a need to use Phil Coulson with her. Anyways, we're going to run 31 here just to give y'all some more action with her. The only bad thing is since we didn't open with Fury, we, um, hold up, we don't get the, uh, the initial buff at the start of the fight, but it's all, ooh, it's okay. See, like Proxima is still constantly attacking and I'm so scared because Proxima is woo, one of those characters that can one-shot you with the quickness. No wonder they make it so that she drops the Odin's blessing of focus because you really got to focus when you're up against her. Oh boy, let me actually <laughs> bail out of that. So her damage is pretty decent. And I really like the fact that she's going to have like long-term value because of her leadership. But the summon thing just really irks me. And it definitely does make sense because think about it logically. Like in the comics, if Kitty and Lockheed was in a fight and Lockheed was in danger, even though Kitty would be safe just hiding in a wall, she would definitely come out of that to come save her little pet. So it makes sense, right? But I don't think Lockheed should be a constant summon because yeah. It, it's bad especially when they want her to be a pvp character she's definitely not going to be doing any kind of pvp with a constant summon right she's going to get constantly whoo, interrupted i think there definitely needs to be a guard or a big dodge buff or something on that um theris of hers because she just seems so exposed when she's using it luckily for me the past few times i've used it right i've gotten off a couple lucky dodges but she is very, very exposed when she's using that skill. Okay, let's be careful there. I wasn't sure if I was going to end that skill right in that lightning attack. Let me actually use that. Okay. Oh, the initial hit from the, uh, the third skill took the damage proc. That kind of sucks. And it took it again. Ooh. <laughs> oh boy we almost got clapped so you can see for yourself she's doing decent even though i'm I'm making like a mockery of this i mean you know i'm saying like she could definitely clear the stage much faster right but i want to play with her a little bit more but you can see for yourself she's actually decent i don't think anybody um can say she's a garbage character she's definitely better than nightcrawler but she definitely gives you the nightcrawler feel when she's like flying around like that and who Okay, I'm going to let this one play out. It might die because of it. No, nope, we didn't die. Okay. You know what? If they gave her the Nightcrawler guard on her third skill, that would actually be pretty dope. Probably shouldn't have cleared this stage. All right, that kind of sucked. But you guys always give me flag for not clearing stages. Nice. Okay, we got CCF. Not like we need it. <laughs> well, when we need it on our own account, we don't get it. But hey, man, it is what it is. Boys, we're going to wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Just a first look here at Kitty Pride. More to follow. So stay tuned, boys. I'll catch up with you guys in the next one. Peace.